Hello everyone, so in this session we are going to see about different types of timers. So first of all we will be looking at TP. So that is generate pulse timer, right? So here in generate pulse timer we will be looking what is happening, okay? So here we are having generate pulse timer, right? So you can use the generate pulse instruction to set the output queue for a programmed duration. So obviously it is generally used to turn on the output for a particular time and then turn off it automatically. So whenever you are using this generate pulse timer, the output will be high for a particular duration and after that it will be turning off automatically. The programmed time PT, basically this is the preset time which we have discussed in the previous lecture also. So preset time is the time which we have to provide to the timer. So basically if you are writing 10 seconds in the preset of the timer then the output will be turning on for 10 seconds and automatically after 10 seconds it will be going low okay. So while the PT is running the detection of any new positive signals at the input has no influence on the state of the output okay. So when the timer's time is running if you are providing any other signal to the timer then it will not affect the output okay so it will have it will first complete the duration of time and then only it will turn off and then when you give another new pulse then only it will turn on the output for the next time okay so in this way basically it can be used to generate the pulse that is why its name is generate pulse timer okay so here let us see how to use it in the software okay so here first of all this is our network right so here we will be taking timer so in order to turn on the timer we will be having one NO right so obviously if you want to start something then we will be taking one NO and then we will be having our timer so where the timers will be available so here we are having instructions so in instructions if you observe there are number of instructions available so here if you observe we will be taking timer so the timers operation we are having multiple timers so basically four timer okay so first one is our tp right so this one is we are going to take the first one right so here i am taking this timer here okay so now if you observe here we are having uh, it is asking for creating a data block right so as i already told you that each and every timer will be taking in the tia portal it will require a data block instantaneously okay so i am just clicking on ok so automatically a data block will be created for the timer as well as the trimer will be available here okay so now after this what i will do is i will be requiring one output so i will take one output from here okay so in this way we are having our network ready now we need to give the addresses so obviously this one is our start right so what we'll be doing is i'll just create some tags okay so this one will be our start tag and this will be the output led and here we need to show that how much time has been elapsed so all these things will be stored in double word memory double word right similarly if you want uh, this pt so basically the time which will be providing here okay so all these things we need uh, tags for basically et as well as a start input as well as for the output right so here i will be going to the show all tags okay so after going here i will just create one start input so start okay after start i will create one more tag that is output led okay LED is an output so the address will be q0.0 .0 here after this I require one elapsed time okay so elapsed time so this tag is used basically it is a uh, it will show the time so time is basically stored in double word that is 2 to the power 32 right so here what will be the address 
actually it will be word right so we will be having word here or we can directly give the address automatically it will take let me give md0 okay so this uh, directly it will be taking double word right so here after doing doing all these things let us go to the programming window again okay the organization block so here we will be taking start start okay and here will be requiring led that is led here and here will be requiring the time for which the output should be in the high state so basically this tp will make the output for a particular time okay so here will be requiring what is the requirement here here will be requiring uh, suppose if you want the output to be high for 10 seconds so i'll write 10 as so automatically it will be taking the 10 seconds right so after this here what is required is md so already defined right elapsed time okay so this will come here so in this way we have created one network and now let us try to observe what is going to happen so let me click on this one okay so after this we'll be clicking on this new project okay so creating the new project right after this what we'll do is we'll click on this sim tables and i will create one sim table right now uh, whatever text we have created all those texts will be available just by clicking on this show all text right so now all the texts are available here so whatever is required will be taking it and all the remaining text will be deleting right so these are not required okay so this is not required now here we'll be changing it to uh, basic time delay right right so now what we'll do is i'll try to turn on the so let me just go online first here okay after going online let me monitor this logic right so after monitoring let us observe into the sim table okay so what will happen basically when you are turning on this output so when you are waving one pulse so it will be turning on okay and the, it will allow this output to be high so how much time it will be allowing the output to be in the highest state that is 10 seconds so let me turn on the start button okay now i am releasing it okay so still it will be high for 10 seconds and then automatically it will be turning off okay so basically it just requires one single pulse then the output will be in the highest rate for the required time or that is the preset time now let us observe another thing so when you are clicking on this input okay so i have just turn on okay i am releasing it okay so now if you are trying to turn it uh, or we are pushing the input one again and again still it is in on state so when the output is in high state even if you change the output input state okay whether number of times if you are waving pulse if the output is in already high state it will be in the high state until and unless it is turned off or it has not completed the preset time right so let us observe it once again i am just clicking on this one and see i have released it so still the output is high again i am turning on but still the output will be in the high state for the given time right so in this way this pt is working so if you want the output to be high for a particular time then it will be done using this time okay so this is tp right so this is how we are using this generate pulse timer okay next timer we will be seeing in the next lecture Okay.